You're now tuned in to the Real Money Coach broadcast with host Tony Jackson, author of the book, Increase, Protect, and Dominate Your Money. Get ready for winning tips and strategies to effectively manage your finances and learn the key principles of protecting and dominating your money. Now, here's author and host, Tony Jackson. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Real Money Coach show here on Praise 100.9 100.9 Charlotte's Inspiration Station. I Can you believe it? It is already the last Saturday in October. My, 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 the year is going by so fast. Listen, uh, October is, you know, it, we all know it as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And, and, you know, we want to give a shout out to all those who are breast cancer survivors and even those who may be going through breast cancer now in some uh, form of fashion or treatment. So we want to uh, definitely lift our prayers up for those individuals. The other thing that I've talked about a few times this month is that it is also Financial Planning Awareness Month. And I do want to remind you that if you have not had a free consult with me, I want to make sure that you do that uh, free consult with me. Uh, is just that. It's a free opportunity for you and I to sit down, look at your financial planning process, uh, see if there are holes there, see if there's things that I can suggest to you, other professionals that I might suggest to you that you need to see, make sure you're on track. And so to do that, you just go to TonyJacksonAppointment.com and schedule your appointment with me. Again, that's TonyJacksonAppointment.com. Schedule that with me. Um, Matter of fact, if you're listening to me right now and you have not had an appointment with me ever before, if you schedule on this Saturday morning uh, when we have our appointment, I want you to remind me to give you a free gift card. I give a free gift card, a free Amazon gift card for $25 for first time appointments only. So again, go to TonyJacksonAppointment.com, schedule your appointment with me so that we can take care of you. And the last thing I want to mention in the focus of today's show is that October is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And I have a wonderful guest, um, Reverend Marguerite Lee, who's going to be joining us uh, here in a few minutes uh, to give us a little bit about her background and what she's doing, a wonderful organization called Beauty for Ashes Ministry. And I went to a men's breakfast that they had um, that really was was kind of um, life changing for me. And so um, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit more about that uh, when we get back from a break. But I do want to just kind of talk a little bit about this issue of domestic violence in the economic side of it, because there is that economic or financial abuse that occurs. Everything from, you know, employee related abuse um, to, you know, victims being, you know, uh, prevented from accessing to their funds to you know, being forced into debt that they don't really want. Uh, but, you know, the the fact of it is that between 94, about 94 percent of domestic violence victims have also suffered some type of economic abuse. Um, and, you know, almost 60 percent of them uh, eventually, you know, lose their jobs due to some type of you know, backlash in terms of the the violence that they're, you know, getting outside of work. And, you know, so 64 percent of abused uh, victims said that it, it affected their ability to work. And so that's that's pretty huge. I mean, you're talking about uh, a total of eight million days of paid work. Uh, vacation, sick days a year. Uh, So it is a tremendous, tremendous impact on the victims, both, you know, the physical as well as the emotional and the economic or financial side of it as well. So there's there's a lot 
that happens in this process, a lot of moving parts. And uh, I wasn't aware of some of the things uh, until I went to this breakfast that we're going to talk about with uh, Reverend Lee here in a few minutes. But uh, I do want to say this. I do want to say that if you are uh, in a situation where you're you're being abused, uh, get some help to get out of it. And if you're listening to this and you're an abuser, we want you to get some help, get some some uh, counseling, get some help, uh, get this thing fixed because it is a serious problem in our country and we want to do our part to bring awareness to it and uh, to put an end to it. So with that, I'm going to take a quick break and we're going to have some music and then I'm going to come back with this wonderful interview with Reverend Marguerite Lee, founder of Beauty for Ashes Ministry Incorporated. You're listening to The Real Money Coach Show here on Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station. Love me on. Love me on my boat. He saw so And he saw so This is Tony Jackson, The Real Money Coach. I use my deep understanding of personal financial principles and 25 years of experience to educate my clients and empower them to make informed financial decisions. I dive into the emotional and psychological aspects of money to help them uncover their own beliefs and behavior. I provide practical strategies through personalized coaching to overcome financial challenges, build wealth, and achieve financial goals. To schedule your complimentary session with me, go to therealmoneycoach.com. I'm Tony Jackson. I'm The Real Money Coach. And welcome back to The Real Money Coach broadcast with author and host, Tony Jackson. Welcome back to The Real Money Coach show here on Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station. And I am your host, Tony Jackson. And as I mentioned to you in the first part of the show, I'm excited to have a colleague, um, someone that I have a great deal of respect for. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, I went to this event uh, that was hosted by A Call to Men and also Beauty for Ashes. And we have the founder and president of Beauty for Ashes on the line with us this morning and the person of Reverend Marguerite Lee. Reverend Marguerite, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Tony, and I hope you are. I am. I am. I, I'm really excited. Um, I was really moved by the men's breakfast that we had. And so I wanted to do what I could do in terms of, you know, helping with this movement and this awareness. Uh, because, again, um, 
for our listeners that October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, as well as Breast Cancer Awareness Month and also Financial Planning Awareness Month. Um, but I was really moved. And let me tell you a little bit about, about Reverend Marguerite Lee, because um, as I know her, she's quite humble. Uh, as we mentioned, she's the founder of Beauty for Ashes Ministry, Inc. Uh, she's a proud alumni of Johnson C. Smith. And if if my reading is correct, she holds three master's degrees, early childhood education, a master's of divinity, and also a master's in Christian counseling. And so, Ms. Marguerite, Reverend Marguerite, I did not know you held all of those degrees. So if you wouldn't mind just spending a few minutes just telling uh, the audience, the listening audience this morning, a little bit about you and maybe where you grew up and, and how you ended up, you know, doing what you're doing today. Okay. I am originally from Virginia and I came here to attend Johnson C. Smith University. And somehow I stayed. <laughs> <laughs> came here to go to school and just did not return to Virginia although I still call Virginia home, have been here in Charlotte more years than I spent in Virginia. But you know, but home you is always forget. home, right? <laughs> That's right. You never forget you never where forget. home is. Right. No, never, never, never. So came here um, in 1968 to attend JCSU. And like I said, I, I stayed here and taught in Charlotte Mecklenburg School System for 30 years uh, in early childhood. Ed. So I spent the first half of my life ministering to children and I loved it. Loved the little ones. Didn't I never wanted anything past third grade. <laughs> <laughs> so you like the you like the small one. You like the little ones for real. Exactly. Exactly. At that time, they they listened to you. <laughs> and so their minds were open for learning. And, and I love that. So, yeah, that that was um, a passion of mine to work with little children. And um, in my third, well, three years prior to retiring, received the call to ministry. Didn't know exactly what that would look like, but uh, soon found out that it would lead me to where I am now. Uh, and I am an associate minister at Mount Carmel Baptist Church, as you well know. Well, we serve together. Under yes, yes, Dr. yes. Uh, Reverend Dr. Casey Kimbrell. So shout yes. out to Mount Carmel Baptist Church. Yay, yes, <laughs> MCBC. That's it. That's it. Yes. I am a mother of one uh, adult son. And I would say that I am a lifelong learner. I believe as long as you live, there's always something new that you can learn. Uh, as you said, I hold three masters. My first one was... Um, from Hood Theological Seminary, and we always tease each other and say that we've been in the hood, uh, through the hood. <laughs> and then the, um, well, that was the second one. My first one was from UNCC uh, in early childhood uh, education. The second one was from Hood, uh, Masters of Divinity. And then the third one was Gordon Conwell, a Masters of Christian um, Counseling. You know, and what, I you, use yeah, yeah. Go on. Just, I'm sorry. You know what's so interesting? I have a lot of respect for Masters of Divinity because a lot of people don't realize that's a 96, 90 plus credit hour program. It's long. I mean, you could get a PhD, and so, but that's that's pretty awesome. So, congratulations. Well, I, thank you, and I thank God because I started uh, at Hood prior to retiring. So I was teaching full time and then going to seminar, seminary on the weekends and at night. Mm. But uh, by the grace of God, <laughs> you made it through. 
I made it through. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I love reading. I dabble a little bit in, in drawing. And I love journaling. have a passion for helping people who are hurting. And that took me to where I am now with the ministry that I have. Yes. And so that kind of kind of really fell in line with getting the uh, Christian counseling master's degree as well. And so um, and then at what year did you find or found or started Beauty for Ashes? I started Beauty for Ashes in 2003 and actually started it at the church. Uh, in 2003, and then three years later, at the unction of the Holy Spirit, um, was prompted to go outside of the local church, and that's when I incorporated it and uh, formed into a nonprofit. So in 2006, we formed the uh, incorporation. And, and we did that because we wanted to reach a larger audience and, sure. and make more people aware of the dynamics of domestic violence. And also part of the original vision was to establish transitional housing. And I knew that that would not happen under the... Um, Umbrella, of, umbrella the of the church. Yes. So well, we needed to expand. Well, listen, that is pretty awesome, folks. We have to take a quick break, uh, listen to a little bit of music, and then we're going to come back with this wonderful conversation that we're having with Miss Reverend Marguerite Lee. You're listening to the Real Money Coach Show here on Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station. <laughs> Join author Tony Jackson for the Real Money Coach broadcast each and every Saturday morning from 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Praise 100.9. Mr. Jackson enlightens you on the real secrets of money. He'll also help you increase, protect, and dominate your money. You can also catch Tony Jackson's The Real Money Coach every Tuesday at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live and YouTube. Check out The Real Money Coach, Mr. Tony Jackson, every Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Praise 100.9. Hey, Tony Jackson here. You know me as The Real Money Coach. Listen, I want to encourage you to do something. And what I want to encourage you to do is email me your questions, your comments, or even suggestions that of topics that you'd like us to cover on The Real Money Coach Show, you can email it to info at therealmoneycoach.com. Again, that's info at therealmoneycoach.com. Email us your questions, your comments, your suggestions, and we will answer those on air and also on our Facebook Live YouTube show on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you email us so that we can get that information that you want to know in your ears. I am Tony Jackson, The Real Money Coach. And welcome back to The Real Money Coach broadcast with author and host, Tony Jackson. Welcome back to The Real Money Coach show here on Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station. And I also want to remind you that this broadcast 
is also available as a podcast on all of the podcasting platforms. That's uh, Spotify, that's Google, that's Apple, that's Pandora, that's uh, you name it. We are on all of those platforms. So please um, share this uh, with your family and friends. And again, I have this uh, friend, associate, uh, co-laborer in the ministry with me, Reverend Marguerite Lee, and we were talking about Beauty for Ashes and you starting that and incorporating that. So for our listeners, tell them a little bit more about exactly what is Beauty for Ashes ministry. Okay. BFAM, as we call it for short, is a nonprofit faith-based Christian organization. And our foundational scripture comes from Isaiah 61, verses 1 through 4. And that's where the name came from, Beauty for Ashes. Um, Actually, God gave me the name before he gave me all of the pieces to the puzzle. And whenever I would hear that scripture, something inside of me would leap. And every time I heard Beauty for Ashes, I would ask God, okay, what is this all about? And so that scripture became our foundational scripture. But Beauty for Ashes Ministry, Inc., as I said, is a nonprofit 501c3 um, organization. And we are about eradicating domestic violence and helping to create a safe space where women are respected and and where they are safe. Um, Our mission is to advocate for and empower survivors of domestic violence by providing, um, facilitating access to proper resources. Because a lot of times when people are going through domestic violence, they don't know where to turn to to get the resources that they need. And we want to be that helping hand for them and also providing faith-based resources, because that was one thing that I realized there was a gap between the services from the overall or wide community, a Mm -hmm. gap between what the faith-based community was doing and what the overall community was doing. And so that was a part of the reason that Beauty Fashion's Ministry Inc. was established. To I, fill I, in that gap. I, I, I imagine that there are like county and government resources. And because of that and those type of resources, they are probably have to kind of back away from the faith based part of it because of whatever political whatever that might be taking place. So I, I imagine that there was a, a pretty significant gap between the faith base and then what else was out there at the time. That is true. And because of funding, sometimes they are not allowed to get into the faith aspect of it. And so that was one reason Beauty for Ashes uh, Ministry Inc. was formed so that we could do that. And, And working with women who were going through abuse, the faith aspect was very important. And I used to work for a community agency dealing with um, women who were abused. And that faith aspect always came up. It's an important part in their healing. Absolutely. From my going to the men's breakfast, how common um, is domestic violence in our community, in our culture? Wow. Every nine to 15 seconds, a woman is abused. And Tony, I can remember when I first got started in this arena and we used to have marches uptown on the square and we would we would make a square on the square. And there was a person that held a drum and would beat the drum. Every 15 seconds, someone would hit the drum. And I remember the first time that I participated and that person hit that drum and my heart would just beat Mm. quickly because I realized what that stood for. 
that every time that person hit that drum, that was symbolizing a woman being beaten. So every nine to 15 seconds, a woman is wow. being beaten. As, as we're talking now, you know, someone is being beaten. Wow. And one out of four women have been abused. One out of seven men have been abused. That's just how prevalent it is. And a lot of people don't realize that. And a lot of people say that they don't know anybody who's impacted by it. But the slogan for this year is everyone knows someone. And, right. and that is true. Well, and, and I, I think it was so that was the thing that that kind of was so um, moving for me is to hear some of the stories and, you know, just being fortunate enough not to have grown up in a household where that took place. Yes. You know, sometimes when we are not exposed to things we are kind of blind to them and until our eyes come open and we realize that maybe we do know someone, we do know someone that's been impacted and, and but we just don't know to, you know, the impact that it may have on us and certainly on them and, and the people around them. And so it, it was pretty, it was a pretty moving event for me. So, but I, what I want to do is just uh, as we're closing out, um, uh, I want to encourage everyone listening to tune in Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Facebook and YouTube, The Real Money Coach. And we're going to get a chance to dig in a little bit deeper with Reverend Marguerite uh, about some of the things that uh, that we can do, some of the signs, maybe, you know, just kind of putting us a little bit on, on alert, right? What things to look for, maybe those, so anything that she shares or has on her heart to share with us on Tuesday night. We'll we'll do that. But before we get off the air, if someone wanted to get involved, they wanted to maybe even uh, support Beauty for Our Ashes ministry, even if that's financially, even that's with volunteer, how, how would they do that? Hey, they can reach us uh, by phone, and the number is 980-474-1472. Or they can reach us via our website at www.beaut, the number four, A S H E S M I N dot org. If they want to make donations, they can do that through our website. And we have um, a PayPal link on the website. Well, that is awesome. Uh, I can't wait to dig into this a little bit further to bring more awareness to it. Uh, like I said, you know, on, on October 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, do this short interview with us. And hopefully we can bring some awareness to this issue and, you know, be a part of the solution. I appreciate you doing this, Tony. It means a lot. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, have a wonderful Saturday. This has been another edition of The Real Money Coach here on Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station. We hope you've enjoyed The Real Money Coach broadcast with author and host Tony Jackson. We encourage you to utilize today's strategies and principles to manage your money in the most effective and winning way. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to send us an email, tonyjacksonagency at gmail.com, or you can reach us on all social media platforms and if you would like a copy of tony jackson's book increase protect and dominate your money log on to www.therealmoneycoach.com until next week's empowering broadcast god bless